Welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the second and final video in IB Chemistry Topic 9, Redox Processes, where we will be looking at biochemical oxygen demand, voltaic cells and electrolytic cells. In the previous video of this series, we introduced redox titrations. A further application of redox reactions is the quantification of water quality. The Winkler method is used to assess the numerical measure of water quality, called the biochemical oxygen demand, BOD. This is based on the quantity of oxygen used by microorganisms to oxidize the organic matter within a sample over a fixed period at a fixed temperature. The lower the BOD, the less polluted the water. But how do we calculate it? Well, we find the concentration of oxygen before oxidation and after before subtracting these two values. The concentration is measured in parts per million, likely a new unit to you. Let's cover it. There are two different sets of chemical reactions that can be used, shown below. Whilst one could memorize these equations, it is unnecessary, as in both sets the important takeaway is the ratio of oxygen to sodium thiosulfate as 1 to 4. Questions will provide you with the numbers to find the moles of sodium thiosulfate used, which you can then divide by 4 to get the moles of oxygen present. You can then convert this to a mass and use this formula to get the concentration of oxygen in the sample in parts per million. Mass of water in grams divided by volume in centimetres cubed times 10 to the 6. Let's work through a sample question. 18.6 centimetres cubed of 2.2 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per decimeter cubed sodium thiosulfate was required during the Winkler method for a 50 centimetre cubed sample of water left for 5 days at 20 degrees Celsius. If the oxygen concentration were 10.05 parts per million at the start of the 5 days, find the BOD. Using the formula moles equals concentration times volume, we calculate the moles of sodium thiosulfate as 4.092 times 10 to the minus 5. Then, we divide this value by 4 to give the moles of oxygen as 1.023 times 10 to the minus 5. Using the formula mass equals moles times molecular mass, we can substitute in this value and multiply by the molecular mass to get a mass of 3.27 times 10 to the minus 4 grams. So, substituting in our values for mass and volume and multiplying by 10 to the 6, we get a value of oxygen concentration of 6.55 parts per million. Since the question asks for BOD, we simply subtract our value from the original concentration, 10.05, which gives the BOD of 3.5. Great, you now understand the redox reactions including one niche use case. However, the primary use of redox reactions are within electrochemical cells, which can be voltaic or electrolytic. Voltaic cells are a specific apparatus which uses a redox reaction to generate electricity i.e. it converts chemical energy to electrical energy. They take place in galvanic cells, which consist of two containers, each containing a different aqueous solution of metal sulfate. Connecting the two solutions is a structure known as a salt bridge, which is made of either potassium chloride or ammonium nitrate. Each solution also contains a metal plate, known as an electrode, made of the same metal as the solution. The two electrodes are connected by a thin external wire, but how do they work? Well, oxidation at one electrode causes reduction at the other. Consider a general voltaic cell with a potassium chloride salt bridge, made from XSO4 solution on the left with an electrode made of X, and YSO4 on the right with an electrode made of Y, where X and Y denote two metals. Assuming metal X is oxidized, we say the reaction at the left electrode is X goes to X plus plus E minus. This results in the accumulation of positive ions in solution and negative electrons on the electrode, making it negatively charged. These electrons flow through the external wire to the other electrode, where they are used to reduce ions of Y in solution, forming metal Y via their reaction Y plus plus E minus goes to Y. This results in the solution accumulating negative SO4 T minus ions, whilst the electrode exhibits a deficiency electrons, making it positively charged. As oxidation continues, there is accumulation of positive metal ions in the solution of the oxidized side and negative SO42- in the solution of the reduced side. The salt bridge therefore moves negative ions, here Cl- into the oxidized side, and positive ions, here K+, into the reduced side, balancing the charge and allowing the reaction to continue. 
Two very important terms used for all electrochemical cells are the anode and cathode. The anode is the electrode where oxidation takes place, and, in a voltaic cell, is always the negative electrode. The cathode is the electrode where reduction takes place, and, in a voltaic cell, is always the positive electrode. This can be remembered using the mnemonic, an ox red cat. Anode undergoes oxidation, and reduction occurs at the cathode. Let's put this information into context using a diagram of the common voltaic cell made from zinc sulfate and copper sulfate solution, again using KCl for the salt bridge, where the overall reaction is Zn plus Cu2 plus goes to Zn2 plus plus Cu. We can see that zinc loses electrons, so is oxidised, while Cu2 plus gains electrons, so is reduced. Therefore, zinc would undergo this half equation at the anode, Zn plus Zn2 plus goes to 2e minus, whilst copper ions would undergo this half equation at the cathode, Cu2 plus plus 2e minus goes to Cu. Electrons therefore flow from zinc to copper, which should be labelled on the external circuit. Likewise, the movement of Cl- from a salt bridge into the zinc sulfate solution and the K- into the copper sulfate solution should be labelled. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.